Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. Well, certainly starting to feel more like summertime as we went through this weekend. Yesterday's high was 84, and we went five above that today. Almost hit 90, not quite, uh, but we hit 89 at the airport in Evansville. We did thankfully get to dry out this weekend and get a lot of sunshine back. We needed that after all the rain we had last week. And live Doppler radar still quiet for us here late on our Sunday evening. And it will stay this way for tonight. It will stay that way for tomorrow and for Tuesday, too. So we have two more dry and very warm, if not hot days uh, on the way. Eventually, we'll feel uh, more humidity, too. We'll feel a touch of it again Monday and Tuesday. I think Wednesday, though, as our rain chances return, we are going to get into that humid range uh, that we show you on the comfort meter. Uh, but Wednesday is the day that at least scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will return. Can't roll out some in the morning. I think the better chance will be later in the afternoon into Wednesday night. And right Right now, a few strong to severe storms can't be ruled out again, especially later Wednesday. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and updating you over the next couple of days. Here's a look right now in downtown Owensboro, and you can see the lights on the Blue Bridge just changed to green. That's our Bill Morgan roofing and construction tower camera there from the top of the Hampton Inn. Here's a peek on the east side of Evansville, looking from Deaconess Gateway Hospital over the east side. It's with our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera there. The traffic that's out there moving just fine on a quiet but warm Sunday evening. And again, a bit muggy, not too bad. Uh, but you're certainly feeling a little bit of that. And this is why. The dew point is at 64. We keep it below 65. It's still tolerable humidity, but you're noticing uh, it's some. And the temperature just now down to 72 degrees. Plus, the wind is calm, so nothing to kind of move around that warm and somewhat uh, sticky air. I think we'll kind of flirt with that real humid air for tomorrow and Tuesday. And then I do think that dew point will climb into the upper 60s, it looks like, on Wednesday and that will be our most humid day of the week. Right now, we're just all slowly falling through the 70s, and we're not going to drop too much more tonight. About middle 60s looks to be where we bottom out and start off our Monday. So here's Storm Tracker. Very quiet, clear skies here in the tri-state. We've had some scattered showers and a few storms well to our north, and then more and more numerous well back to our west. But doesn't look like any of this is really going to make it into the tri-state over the next couple of days. Here's an updated future tracker. Keeps us mainly clear to partly cloudy as we head into Monday morning. And then plenty of sunshine tomorrow. I think we'll mix in a few more clouds through the afternoon, especially later in the afternoon. There will be some storms to our north, but it looks like they'll fall apart before they get into even northern parts of the tri-state. So just partly cloudy tomorrow night. Plenty of sunshine from start to finish again on Tuesday. Then later Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we may see some weakening showers and thunder showers come in. And then again, through Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night, that's when we'll have our increasing chances for some showers and some thunderstorms. But quiet for the rest of tonight, clear skies, mid uh, 60s, then tomorrow, sun and clouds and very warm again. Highs between 85 and 90. We're up around 90, maybe even a degree or so above on Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine and windy. Then windy and humid, but not as hot on Wednesday. The high 84 with scattered showers and storms. They'll linger into Thursday, hopefully diminishing. It's going to depend on how far south the front can get. But right now, at least a daily chance for a few showers and thunder showers for the end of the week and next weekend. All right, Stacy, thank you. Still to come, nearly two weeks after excess.